Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with AA Shaves and I am back again. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come watch my content. I truly appreciate it, so honestly, thank you. Uh, deciding to do a shave by my window today. It's a nice sunny spring day here in Pennsylvania. It's not warm, um, but hopefully some of that warm weather comes around here pretty soon. Um, so I was kind of going through my shave den and you know, I was never the biggest guy with using seasonal scents in their proper season. If there's a scent I like, I'll use it all year round. I don't really care. Um, but I picked out this one from my den, and it just so happens to be a perfect time to use it. So why not? Um, so we got Irish Springs here from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Really, really awesome label there with the leprechaun and then this little dude here. And then, of course, the cube and then the bar of Irish Springs soap. So for whatever reason, um, in this year's release of Irish Springs, I guess Doug decided to call it a different name. I think it's called Enlightener Well. Um, I didn't really look into why they changed the name. If anyone knows, definitely let me know. Um, but this is last year's release where it's just called Irish Springs. And it's a good scent, man. It's, it's supposed to, it's an homage to Irish Springs and it is pretty darn close. Um, yeah, and take a look at the soap here. So I have used quite a bit of it since I've gotten it. I think I got this last year. Um, I was thinking for a little bit. I was like, did I get it two years ago? But I think I got this last year. Um, yeah, I used quite a bit of it. Um, I really, really do like this one a lot. And it's kind of interesting. So if you look close, you can actually kind of see there's like some little green specks in there. And I guess it was they were kind of trying to... Um, make the soap look cool, give it like a spring kind of feel. And as I was looking at it, I'm like, you know what? I think more artisans need to start doing stuff like that. So for example, here's a soap from Vanille. This is Poseidon. So if we crack this open, look, she put a trident right in there. Really, really cool. Yeah, stuff like that. I think more artisans need to kind of do some cool stuff with their soap like that, where they make it look cool. Um, because, you know, you really don't see it a lot in the wet shaving world. And I think it's a really, really awesome touch, uh, really good attention to detail. So, yeah, man, I think more artisans just, like, really need to start doing stuff like that, you know? Um, yeah, so really, really cool looking soap here with the Irish Springs. <laughs> a little bit of it fell out. I don't know if you caught that. Um, CK1 formula. I got plenty of Phoenix soaps in... CK1 and also plenty in the new CK6 base. Um, both great bases. I don't see a huge difference between both of them. The only really big difference I see is that the C CK6, the new base, is it's easier to lather up. But other than that, I um, really don't see a huge difference in performance. So, um, yeah, look at that. Soap lathered up pretty good today here in my Pereira Shave Bowl. A lot of water in today's lather. I don't know if you can see it with this lighting, but there is a lot of water in there. Hopefully not too much, but it's got that nice kind of sheen I like. It's still got some structure to it. Yeah, nice and fluffy. And I always like using this big brush whenever I use a Phoenix soap, because Phoenix soap is kind of a high structure lather, kind of meaning where it explodes. And the mixture of the big high structure lather with the big brush I don't know, man. Every time I use a Phoenix soap, I just really like using this brush, the Yaki 30 millimeter Barbapol. It's my biggest brush. I absolutely love it. And I know I use a lot of the same gear in my videos, but I'll probably get back to buying more stuff pretty soon. Kind of on a semi sort of buying freeze right now, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, really, really awesome. So I'm sure that's going to shave well today. And I got the matching splash here. Ran it down pretty decent amount. Um, this is one of the ones that I put on even when I'm not shaving sometimes. I'll just put on a little bit on the back of my neck because it's a really, really good scent. Um, razor for today. Uh, PAA Phantom Blue Slant. I bought this off of uh, Josh over at Jet Behind a Scent. Um... Yeah, he was nice enough to shoot this one my way because uh, I thought it looked interesting. I had seen this on the PA site for 
I've been seeing it for a few years and I was always kind of curious about it. And this is my only slant razor. And I used it a couple times off camera and uh, it was okay. It, it, you know, it's pretty, it's a pretty good razor. Um, it's got some pretty, it's like a mid aggressive razor, I would say, in my opinion, but it shaved pretty good. Um, but I decided to bust it out again today and see how it does. I don't really have too much experience with slants, but we're going to see how this one goes. And yeah, look at how it contorts the blade in there. That is just insane. This is like a, I think he calls this a double slant. It's just, look at how it bends it. I don't know if you can see that. It's just crazy, crazy. Yeah, really, really interesting design here with the, the slants. I think he said it's kind of supposed to cut like a scythe, kind of how it goes down like that. Um, gave me, it's given me some good shaves, so we're going to use it again today and see how that goes. Packs it up with a Gillette Menorah. I love these blades. They're some of my favorite blades ever. And I know a lot of other people in the community like these blades a lot. Yeah, these are really, really good. Um, all right, so let's get the face wet here. Okay. Yeah, I put a lot of water in today's lather. Um, hopefully not too much. Yeah, I think uh, Phoenix is one of those soaps where you can put in a lot of water, a lot of water, and it's not really going to break it. Um, but yeah, this one's looking good. Yeah, nice and fluffy. Um, I typically don't really like to overhydrate my lathers. I don't like when they get too runny, but this one seems pretty good. Okay. So Irish Spring. So again. Uh, he did come out with this one again this year. Uh, I think a few, I think like, like two weeks ago. And he called it Enlightener, Enlightener Well. Again, I'm not really sure why they changed up the name, but it's got the same scent notes. Um, it's an homage to Irish Spring Bar Soap. And Irish Spring, it was always one of my favorite scents. I always loved Irish Spring Bar Soap. I always loved that scent. And when I first got this one last year, and I, I cracked it open. Uh, I really fell in love with it because they, it smells a lot like Irish Spring. They did a really good job with replicating it. And I've said this before, but I actually like this scent a little bit better than Irish Spring Bar So believe it or not. So it's got kind of, the reason for that is it smells like Irish Spring, but I think mixed in with it, it's got kind of like a mintiness thing going on. Um, and it's just really, really good. It's like really refreshing. It smells like the Irish Spring bar soap mixed with like a, a minty touch. That's just really, really nice, clean and refreshing. Um, yeah, it's really good stuff. It's, uh, what is it, bergamot, blood orange, white rose, pine, lavender, cedar, and musk. So that minty thing, I'm thinking it comes from the, uh, you know, I'm going to put more, a little more lather up here. Let's get some of that hair up there too. Yeah, I'm thinking that minty touch comes from the, I'm going to say like the pine and the lavender mixture. Um, it's just really, really good. All right. I like how this razor collects the, the lather. Look at that. It's kind of cool how it just kind of falls down like that. Sorry about the interruption there. Somebody was at the door. But yeah, really, really cool how this razor kind of kind of collects lather. 
and it does feel it feels pretty good on the face too um it's a cheap razor it's like it's like twenty five dollars or something like that but um it gets the job done it's like kind of like a mid level aggressiveness but um yeah the price to performance ratio in it is really pretty good i mean i had a decent amount of growth and then even in one swipe there kind of is mowing it down pretty good so and it's kind of funny it is a plastic razor so it's kind of got that plastic type sound to it too i say it in a lot of my videos but it's cool how every razor has like a different type of sound to it it's a really cool little detail that i like Yeah, I mean, obviously it's not, you know, it's not like the greatest shaver in the world. I could just kind of tell when I'm using it, but um, it gets the job done, you know. And the Gillette Menorah blade in here is doing a pretty good job. So I don't know. So any of you guys who are big fans of slants, um, let me know why you like them, because in my honest opinion it's sort of the whole slant thing it sort of seems a little gimmicky to me like I really don't see a huge difference between a slant and like a normal DE razor maybe there's something to it I don't know but I personally I don't really find that it cuts a lot better it does look cool though I mean I do I do think the slant design looks neat but I don't know, but hey, at, you know, a razor with this price, I'm not complaining too much, so. Uh, yeah, so far so good, nice first pass. Wow, yeah, really good uh, residual slickness here with the CK1 formula. It's like just as good as CK6 in my opinion. It's a really, really good performer. Really good stuff. Yeah, I'm really glad I busted out this Irish Spring. So anyone who's ever smelled this, let me know your thoughts. Because, man, ever since I was a kid, I just always really loved that Irish Spring scent. And I actually do like this one better than Irish Spring Bar Soap. It smells like the soap, but it's got that mintiness to it. Man, just really nice, fresh, clean, green. Great scent for the spring, but I use this one all year round. It's just really good. All right, boom. Yeah, on Instagram, a lot of people were using the, the new one from Phoenix, the Enlightener well. And a lot of their, a lot of other uh, spring scents. Yeah, most of the time if I like a scent, I'll just use it all year round. I don't really care about using it in the proper season or whatever. I like giving all my products some love here, so. All right, looks good. So just gonna do the against the grain press. Yeah, that was actually a really good first pass, no nicks or anything. Uh, yeah, so this thing's doing good. Maybe there's something to the slant design, I don't know, but. Yeah. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this would make a good travel razor too. 
because if you lose it, you're not out a lot of money and it's also plastic. You don't have to worry about it banging into other stuff. And I think they also have one that glows too. I think it comes out in the fall. Yeah, I like this a lot. You never know what else Phoenix is gonna come out with. It's just, their operation is just insane. It's kind of interesting how this yeah, I keep saying it, but how this Razor Collect soap is really interesting. Oh, it's doing good, yeah. I've been coming back to these Gillette Menorah blades pretty often. There's some blades that I just keep gravitating back to. And this is definitely one of them. Man, I tell you what, too, I'm, I'm a buffer. And this razor is pretty good for buffing. It's not too aggressive. It's pretty comfortable. Yeah, I do notice that you have to clean off this razor a lot because it does get gunked up pretty quick. Not a bad shaver though. All right, that was a good shape. <laughs> All right, Irish Springs. Yeah, I kind of wish they kept the Irish Springs name. I don't know why they had to change it, but... I feel like if they kept the name, more people would know that it's an homage to Irish Springs, but eh, who knows? I don't know why they changed it up. Maybe to avoid... I don't know, like something with the branding, I have no idea, but... Man, really awesome... Uh shape feel. I love CK1 and CK6. One of my favorite vegan bases. Southern Witchcrafts is still my number one vegan base, but Phoenix is like right behind it. It's just really good. Yeah, this feels awesome, man. Yeah, nice nick-free shave with this um, $25 Phantom Blue Plastic Slant. It's a good shaver. It's a nice buffing razor, too. It's, it seems to kind of match my shaving habits, which is good, so... Yeah, I guess the only thing I really don't like about it is kind of the way it gets gunked up, but hey, it's all good. I could kind of look past that. All right. Let's go with the aftershave here. Kind of hard to get open. Yeah, look, this one's got no restrictor, so I got to be careful about when it comes out. This is a great scent, man. Yeah, again, this is one that I've uh, used without shaving sometimes. I'll just put it on the back of my neck. I do that with a couple of my aftershaves. And a lot of these aftershaves, the scent lasts a while, so there's no really need to get the cologne. Yeah, let me know if anyone else does that. You just use your aftershaves as cologne. This is a really good scent. You just get that citrus, you get a little bit of the the pine, the lavender, kind of give it like a minty sort of zing. A little bit of musk in the background. Really good classic scent. Great homage to Irish Spring. Um, yeah, one of my favorite soaps that Phoenix has ever come out with, Irish Springs, is just really good. Really good stuff. Very nice shave today. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and watching my shave. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. It was a good shave today. Um, and hopefully you get some nice spring weather here around the corner. And I hope everyone's doing well. And until next time, 
Take care. Happy shaves.